Okay, so we're back again, and uh, the fan is actually on again. It's not still on. Just after I ceased the last video, it uh, it switched off, which is reassuring. So obviously, control circuitry is working. But we're now in a situation where I've turned the power back on. I've restored the mains power, and um, it's now actually pulling about 700 watts out of the mains, which is great. That's taking that off my solar. That's the whole idea and it's pumping it back into the batteries at the rate of about uh, uh, 10 amps. They're currently showing 54 volts, which is, I guess, the regulated charge voltage. Um, and yeah, everything seems to be working fine. Uh, let's have a look what the display is telling us. AC amps 3.53. I'm guessing that's over here, something like, yeah, 3.38 is what it's showing drawing out of the main so <clears throat> they're reasonably close to each other we won't quibble about that um, yeah so that's our uh, status quo at the moment um, that's stable nothing's happening there load wise much um, still got that refrigerator load sitting on there um, of just 100 milliamps that's low that's high that's the actual load uh, downstream from the inverter, which is simply that refrigerator humming along nicely. So, yeah, all systems normal. I'm getting pretty confident about this. Um, and yeah, I put a little indicate, little wind indicator on here. That was just a bit of string that I managed to thread through there, um, just to let us know that uh, the fan's working. But you can clearly hear it. It's not overly noisy, it's, uh, it looks like it's doing its job well. Um, now the next phase, and I'll just pause here and do one of these, alright, that's a cut, 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 so we can edit there. So the next phase um, of finishing this project, because this is still in the uh, prototype test stage, is to get to with this little critter here, and I'll see if I can get out of my own light that I got uh, from eBay and I'll put a link up for this um, actually I didn't buy it um, it was a birthday present uh, comes with a shunt um, and a breakout ribbon cable so you can put your, uh, your cables in and basically that's going to give me quite a deal of information that I'm sort of fiddling with meters to get at the moment and uh, that's upside down look at that but uh, there's a couple of configurations there. I think uh, mine will be something like this one here using an external power supply. Um, uh, no, wait a minute, it'll be this one here. Char oh, charge, three way. Yeah, it should tell me charge and discharge. I've got to just read, you know, you always, you meant to read the instructions, folks. I haven't done that yet. Um, I've got the gist of it, but yeah, I know one thing for sure. Um, I broke out and joined the positive uh, and in fact according to this uh, the shunt goes in the negative lead so that's the way it goes but not a problem um, quite happy to uh, put this thing together there will be a panel there um, so that will also provide some protection against uh, accidentally bumping into these critters here which they're only 50 volts but They'll do a bit of arc welding if you get the wrong thing in between them. So, yeah, quite happy with that. And the next phase of the project is to hit this guy up and uh, put him in there.